So you've got some scale on your cactus. What is it? How do we treat it? The good news is it's really easy. Check this out. So if we look closely at this cactus, we can see all these little white dots. They're all up here, all up and down the length of the, uh, the main column. This is a, uh, a Scopulacola hybrid, a uh, beautiful plant, but if these are allowed to stay on it, it will kill it eventually because uh, while this may look like a fungus, it's actually not. These are actually insects. They're very small, uh, disc-shaped insects that latch onto the cactus, and as they grow, uh, they, they get larger. They, they appear to be little spots, which enlarge. Um, but the way to treat these, there's two different ways to do this uh, that I'm aware of. The first, and the one that I like to use, is uh, Spinosad. So this is a, it's basically just some insecticidal soap. Uh, I got this from my local feed and garden store for like 18 bucks to concentrate and mix it down uh, and dilute it. I've got just a little bit left in here. I'm going to see if we can get some to come out. But really, uh, you just want to kind of get it wet first. This helps to remove them, and it also kills them. And we're about out, but I think I can make this work. Okay. Good enough. Another option would be to use rubbing alcohol. Uh, rubbing alcohol works really good. I've, I've used it too. Uh, but the thing about rubbing alcohol is that you need to keep your cactus out of direct sunlight for about 24 to 48 hours after treatment. Uh, because that alcohol, uh, for one reason or another, can intensify the sunlight and it can burn up the cactus. It can make it more prone to sunburn. So uh, I'd like to just use the Spinosad. It's cheap enough. Works really good. And then you just take your toothbrush. And this cactus had some scarring from uh, probably some fungal issues at some point in its life. Uh, but that rib is now completely clean. And you see they just brush right off really easy. brushed all those guys off again we're still gonna have some spots some kind of fungal spots probably uh, but yeah that's pretty much it now it's gonna go back in the greenhouse and uh, if I see any more I'll do it again and I've got several others to treat uh, scales pretty pretty prevalent in my greenhouse but uh, easily treated so hopefully that helps somebody